legs. Again, a good shake, good tapping. Massage the legs, massage the tissues. Making your way down to sitting, you may want to scoot yourself forward to the front of the mat. At this point, we're going to start to use a little bit of props equipment. If you have a strap or a belt, bring it close to your hips. And then grounding your feet on the earth, inhale the arms forward. And then filled with confident strength, slowly breathe out and roll off the sit bones, using your abdominal muscles to gently bring your lower back, then your ribs, then your shoulder blades to the ground. Holding onto your strap will hold onto the knee and just hug the knee into the body. By curling the spine, you'll have room just to reach the strap around the bottom of your foot. Work it away comfortably around your arches and then bringing your head down to the ground will start to refine and move some expansion into the back of your legs. We'll take a breath in, just very slow, very mindful, we'll exhale some length of the leg up to the ceiling. Now as you're holding onto your strap, give yourself enough length of the straps that you can actually bring your forearms and shoulders to the floor. This is very comfortable for the upper and lower body. Straighten your left leg forward and flex your left foot so the toes are reaching up straight to the ceiling. This will be expanding your left hip flexors as you expand the back of your right leg. Try to visualize breathing into the legs as we start to add variations. You can start to walk the hands up the straps. With a little bit of bicep, arm strength, we bring the leg a little more vertical or a little more over towards your shoulder. Again, we're able to bring the back of the arm towards the ground. We're able to draw the shoulders into the earth. We're able to relax the neck and the jaw. As we're relaxing certain parts of the body, we keep energizing down through the left leg, lifting through the left toes, and consciously keeping the right leg, the top leg, squared. Toes aren't drifting out to the side. Going from the back of the leg and adding the side of the leg, the IT band, let's walk the hands a little bit further up the strap. Holding onto the strap just with your left hand, we then to scissor just a little bit, only takes a few inches, your right leg over the body towards the left. Very important at this point to keep firmly grounding down through your left hip. Keep it feeding into the floor. Keep reaching out through the left heel, feeling the expansion from the crest of the hip up through the side of the thigh. We'll slowly ease the leg back to center, starting to adjust the straps to go onto the inner thigh. Notice how I'm wrapping the strap around the back of the ankle, so you're creating almost like a straddling motion of the straps to hold the weight of your leg. Now with the right arm fully engaged, rotate your right foot outwards and let the heel float out to the side. Even more so, we now need to contain the left leg into the floor, the left hip grounding. You can use the left hand out to the side or onto your hip. You may need to adjust at certain points the right hand grip a little bit further up to the strap, especially if you find you can bring the heel a little more in line with the shoulder. Again, consciously breathing into the body, sending the breath out through both heels, Feeling the connection of the floor from your shoulders to your hips, all the way down to the supporting foot. To come out, we'll switch the straps over to the left hand, and then slowly inhale and bring the leg up. Hugging onto the knee will feel really nice at this point just to circle the knee in one direction. And then circling the hip the other way. And then we can take the circles right out through to the ankle. And all this massaging motion through the lower leg, flushing fluid out 
from the calf muscles and ankle back into the center of the body. 